All right, welcome back to another video. I think uh, I ended the video or less one a couple days ago with these guys. Uh, these were from the these are the mystery ones that uh, were born about 40 days ago, and I said they were just starting to color up. And uh, I wanted to show the uh, you know the the female that had them last night. Let's see, today is uh, what, July. 8th I think I'll probably have this video up July 9th so I wanted to show the female that had these because she was you know pretty huge and I figured about to have fry again so hey once every 40 days isn't bad but and like I said these are just starting to color up and uh, I will get you over to the uh, other female because she just had a quite a few fry I think there's only about 11 in this five and a half gallon tank but uh, she's had considerably more than 11 uh, within the last couple hours so I'll be right back with that okay so I wasn't really planning on filming this uh, small container I put her in a it's like a gallon and a half two gallon container and you can see now that she does have a lot of fry around her. Not quite sure if she's done. I'm trying to focus on her. So you can see she actually did develop like a uh, bit of a black edging to the dorsal and the tail. So obviously she's some kind of a, I'm hoping, a red bicolor. I'd say it's possible it could be a uh, Silverado red, but we'll see. But anyway, that's all the fries she just had, and I don't think she's done. Uh, there's more all over the place, actually. Some at the bottom. Obviously, this tank and the glass are not clean because I put her in here hoping she'll have the fry. And trying to get comfortable so I can get in there. So I'm thinking she's a Silverado red because I'm seeing uh, two different distinct colors of fry. And I'm trying to get a close up on this tiny one because it's like a, either a blonde or it could be an albino. See, there we go. Yeah, I think it's an albino or so you can tell my eyesight's not too bad if I could see that because these are tiny in fact I uh, had my first ever eye visit to an eye doctor I guess about 10 days ago and uh, I actually still have 20-20 vision which is pretty cool so I've never been to an eye doctor but uh, my regular doctor said uh, hey you should go see an eye doctor so anyway, it looks like about three or four albinos so far. So that's going to be interesting to see what they all grow out to be. So very cool. Anyways, a whole bunch of fry. And like I said, there's more over there. And uh, so that's it. Like I said, that's uh, it's a nice little thing. So I'll just have a, like a hodgepodge of stuff on here like the other video, which will probably be two days ago by the time I get this one up most likely tomorrow all right so this is a tank it's a 10 gallon tank with uh, uh, the fry from the what I call the Batman guppies and uh, that's the hornwort I keep wanting to call it foxtrot I don't know why the heck that is I guess I'm weird so anyway they've uh, all turned out to be looking like uh, the parents at this point and uh, if you remember in some prior videos I had showed that I had gotten some a few oddballs out of the batch of fry from the platinum red mosaic big ears and I had separated the uh, four or five fry grew them out that looked uh, the same and uh, I think they're, I don't remember what they're called. I don't know why, I have like a mental block about the name. It's either 
Gotham Guppies or Black Knight or Dark Knight. I don't know. Something that reminded me of Batman. So I'm just calling them Batman Guppies. So uh, we'll see how they uh, continue to develop. But they definitely uh, look like the parents. So yeah, the fish room's a little messy. So I'll get to the other ones next. I'm hoping to be able to show these soon. This uh, green water is clearing up. This was my cross of uh, half black pastel to blue delta. And I wasn't expecting this as a result. So I should be able to show them in an upcoming video because they're, uh, once the water clears, some interesting things in there. But anyway, pardon the mess, but uh, as I drop the uh, camera, so and she's had uh, quite a few fry again. Well, she, there's two of them in there. It's two females. Get this to, this one just had the fry, I think. Or maybe I'm on the wrong female. I think it's the other one in the back there. So I have to get these fry out. And now there is a second drop. So all the fry are gonna go into uh, one of the 10 gallon tanks that I clear up in a few, uh, probably tomorrow which will be today when I put the video up. So, there's a close up of her eyeball. Thank you for getting in the way. So that's uh, the male. He's, uh, he's got a couple of little nicks and whatever in him. It kind of looks like a, kinda like a bad black delta guppy, but with larger black peck fins. So, interesting. I, I kind of like them, uh, just cause I guess I haven't seen or had anything like it before uh, the reason why it looks a little bit blue is the tail is probably a little thin uh, the edge of the tail is getting a little funky he doesn't have a disease but it seems to pick up the dirt on the edge of the tail and I did just do a water change in uh, this tank but there's so many fry in here that it's uh, it just dirties up even quicker, plus the plants. So anyway, so there's another batch of fry in there. I will take all the fry out, put them in their own 10 gallon tank, and leave the uh, trio of Batman guppies in the five and a half gallon tank of their own. All right, I'll update with uh, some more stuff. So hang in there and be right back. All right, I'll wrap up the video with uh, an update on these uh, fish. Uh, the plant, like the other plants, were a thin leaf water sprite. Now these are, uh, it's a cross I made of uh, a navy blue Moscow's to blue delta. A female, I think, is how I went. Because my experiments with the uh, blue and black Moscow females is that uh, they don't really pass on the genes of uh, the Moscow's. But anyway, that's one of the navy blue Moscow's, which right now looks a little bit black, I guess, which isn't a bad thing, because I love the black Moscow's and that's what this line came out of. Here's a little better look at them. So it's a little bit of a surprise so far. This is another male I put in because he wasn't exhibiting a full black uh, color. It's kind of like a, uh, or a full blue. It's kind of like a half black, basically. And I really didn't want that in the uh, blue mouse gal line, so he was kind of cold and put in here. That's the other male. Now, the really large male with the huge tail that was the father of all the lighter body fish in his tank uh, had recently kicked the bucket. And uh, so I went with a second kind of a cross of getting the, you know, try to solidify the line. Uh, there's one thinner looking female that went by. Uh, she's not sick, it? She, it had fry. I think it's this one. So she may not be having any more fry because she's not recovering from it. So that's one of the older males. Now I don't know what that's gonna be not exactly what I was after, although I really wasn't after 
much of anything. I just wanted to do the cross to see what I would get. So uh, we'll have to see how it develops. Uh, usually when I do crosses, the first uh, batch of fry uh, grow out to not look so great. And when I kind of select some of the better looking ones to go uh, again, that's when I kind of can get uh, something decent out of it. I'm trying to focus on this guy while I forget what I was saying. Because uh, that's an interesting uh, development. Uh, that, I don't know what the heck is going on there. I'm trying to see if it's a male. Probably is a male, but all right, we'll have to see. But so that's kind of interesting stuff. Uh, I just thought I'd update a couple things. I keep forgetting to update. And uh, uh, why did the uh, cookie go to the hospital? Because he felt crummy. He felt crummy. Oh, that's terrible. That's from that joke book. From that guy, Frank. Thank you, Frank. All right. Well, that'll wrap up the video. And uh, so anyway, so this is the progress on the uh, Navy Blue Moscow Cross to uh, Blue Delta. And uh, well, I'll, I'll keep updating it in the future when I start to see a better development out of the uh, fry. And uh, I'll update you on some other stuff uh, pretty soon. All right, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments or you can send me an email. Like I said before, I put my email address in uh, the description page of the videos. And if you want to buy the food, high protein food, which uh, I kind of credit along with the live baby brine shrimp to uh, the fry explosions that I get out of quite a few of these, uh, pretty much all the tanks. Uh, just let me know. All right, thank you very much for watching.